Yo, listen, when I tell you Baddies East, episode four started off extra, 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 extra spicy. When I mean... (laughs) Minion number one. You are blood up. Like, she, when she got on top of you, it was over, dog. It was over. Like, you weren't even connecting with absolutely nothing. You were connecting with air. This is why I tell people to leave people's picnic alone. Your sister, listen, your homegirl, Rob, knew better, right? She knew the type of type of hands her sister had, but yet she still told you guys to sick her. You about to go world war why would you do that to your Martian friends Janet. why homegirl said okay i'm done with I'm, I'm done with minion number one pass on the next one so let me tell you when i tell you the girls faces in on the cast right now the way that they look right now all of them are scared and i bet you each and every one of them are going to try to be um tko's friend how much you guys want to bet by the end of this episode everybody's going to be dick riding i'll be right back <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put some... Yo, Mariah Lynn is a G. Even though TKO could have handled herself, she clearly could have handled herself. Homegirl, minion number two, decided she wanted to speak Spanish or whatever she was speaking. And I guess, I don't know, she was saying a prayer. I don't know what it was, but nobody can comprehend anything that she was saying and i guess she was taking it a little bit too long so first off the way that she was squaring was all wrong like shorty you're you're you're, no you're squaring it's 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 this is like a straight hit me in the face and that's exactly what happened you got punched molly wop like one of those shorty got she got stomped out mariah lynn said yeah you want to jump you want to jump Guys, it's already festive. <laughs> when I tell you, the might beat the people them Pitney, the might beat the people them Pitney, but I'll be right back because. Why did I forget to tell you guys that she got a one hitter quitter? The girl got one punch and she landed straight to the floor. I was on the bus when the bitches jumped to me, <laughs> and I thought it was foul as hell. Not knowing the back end of the story of whatever would happen, but the fact that they're able to get these rounds off. Yo, like- let me tell you something. Rock, you set up your homegirl so badly. Minion number one, her, she got about four knocks on her motherfucking hands on the top. I'm sorry, guys. I told you guys you're trying to do better. Listen, her mouth right here is boss up. Like, her whole face, like, it does not look good. It is not looking good. Then Mariah Lynn knocked out your homegirl. One punch, and she was not, like, on the floor. What kind of, what kind of girls are you hanging around with? What type of girls are you sicking on people like this is what i don't understand you should have came with some bigger bigger badder t- clearly bitches that can fight because your sister was not playing games and you knew she wasn't playing games that's why you you laughed and you told your homegirl they should have came with some mace or something like we get it you're mad at mariah lynn but why at the end of the day your homegirls jumped your sister i get it you're saying that you're pregnant but you're running off your mouth and whatever the case may be and you send two little poodles to go and fight a big dog like that doesn't make no sense a rottweiler you're nuts do you understand and then you have mariah lynn over here that says yo at the end of the day yo i'm gonna you know she knocked her out and then she said she turned around she said yo my bad because tko turned to her and was like yo mariah lynn i got you sis like i'm cool like you understand what i mean and mariah lynn turned to her and said yo that was bitch, for them jumping the real ass bitch she said yeah we had to get the you know i had to get i had to get that in because they got it in with you so now you can shoot the fair one i'm, I'm cool with that Rock, why are you upset? You not I'm fighting, like, okay, sweetheart. This shit gotta be over. You I'm sent like, them to I fight, so it doesn't matter if somebody wants to beat their ass. Him. On top of that, it doesn't matter. You shouldn't. You shouldn't care about that, sweetheart. Get me to fight all these bitches. What are you talking about? Stay to the side. Stay to the side. As, as you guys can see, it's really messy. Messy. Jesus, love now. No. <laughs> We're gonna respect.
back to the TV and push back to whatever the fuck I want to do. Yo! What is wrong with Will Vicky Jesus take the wheel? Like, what is wrong with you? First off, why are you this? First off, you're in your oversized pajamas. Okay, then she has this up. Okay, first off, take that down. That's the first thing you gotta do. Then you're here talking about Jesus loves us. Clearly, Jesus loves everybody, but he also doesn't love people's behavior. And this is something that he does not like. He will handle it accordingly when he's ready. It's called karma, sweetheart. So at the end of the day, you standing there and trying to preach the word of God to a bunch of bitches that right now don't want to hear anything. They're blood up, not up, all this type of, like, I don't get it. They want you to shut up clearly even sky gave you that look like she gave you that look like are you crazy like to the point where rock was like yo this is does this bitch want to get slapped too like do you really want to get did you not see the episode of when rock molly the girl in the sink do i need to remind you about that her two minions can can handle you i guarantee one of them can handle you probably the one with the knot because she's very upset that she got her ass what like it's bad she's looking horrible if she has a nigga he's probably gonna leave her after this because baby it's not looking good for you see like <sighs> let's see how this ends shall we <laughs> damn it yo let me tell you guys something now i see why Ro, Ro vicky is on the show like she's been playing this i'm i'm holy i'm godly i'm trying to you know turn over a new will no the old vicky came back for 2.5 seconds first off janet first off why didn't you have that same energy when tko was about to bust your ass why didn't you jump and and, and you know hop onto tko the way that you hopped onto vicky this girl literally jumped let me show you guys exactly what, what this girl did okay well vicky's over there talking about preaching the lord she's just like she's standing on this side she's just like preaching the lord she's like why can't everybody just get along jesus loves us so then rock is like yo this girl's doing doing My bad, y'all. A lot was going on just a while ago. Like, you know when you hear something in your crib and you're not used to it? Like, you know the amount of people that are supposed to be in your crib and you know the whereabouts of the people that are not in your house? So it's like when you hear a sound, it's like you give that. You know what I mean? But anyways, as I was saying, she's over here trying to preach the word of God, talking about Jesus, loves, um, you know, we are all Jesus, just children, and da 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 So when Rock turns around and Rock's like, yo, why is this girl, like, why is she doing like who's she talking to like why is she being so extra like you know what i mean like she turned to her little her little minions and she said yo sicker she said get her slap this bitch because she's doing the most why did janet mind you this is the same bitch that never had energy for tko literally as soon as she said yo slap this bitch it's like she's trying to get her lick back because she got knocked the fuck out by mariah lynn my girl ran over and went like this and hopped on Wo Vicky. But guess what? She thought that Wo Vicky wasn't gonna fight back. Why was Wo Vicky what why was Wo Vicky though throwing hands? Don't play with her. Don't play it with a sister in her Bible. Don't do that. Don't you ever in your life think that you can run up and done up on a girl that used to be a bad bitch. You understand? Once a bad bitch, always a bad bitch. We may tuck it and hide it, but when it when it needs to come back out, we will bring it back out and she definitely did so don't you ever don't you try you know guys i was nerving us about mrs wo vicky jesus take the wheel but you know she has proved herself you know because the little one little clip that they gave us doesn't really doesn't really do a lot for you you know so at the end of the day i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna see the type of ass whooping that this girl got because wo vicky was fighting and when i mean she was fighting she was thumping even when security was holding her she was still you understand what I mean? Don't play with her. Don't play with a girl and her Bible. Whoa, Vicky. Whoa, Vicky. Whoa, Vicky. 
Okay, I was just giving you your props 2.5 seconds ago and I'm about to take that shit right, right back because I don't understand. These girls are literally telling you, first off, <laughs> they came and they handed you ice to put on your lip. Camilla comes and she hands you and um, the ice and she says, put it on your lip. She then proceeds to tell you, you know, at the end of the day, you got to let girls be who they are. Like, you can't change them. Like, ratchet is going to be ratchet. It is what it is. You get me? Sky then proceeds to walk over to then tell her, like, yo, at the end of the day, like, the same thing. Camilla's telling her, like, you know, I get you're trying to preach the word of God, but this there's a time and place for everything for you to preach the word of God. And I do believe that God knows, you know, there is a time and place. You know what I mean? Why did she then proceed to open her phone to about, she was about to read a scripture. Where was the scripture when the girl was chasing you down and hopped over and, and, and knocked you in the side of your head? Even though you fought back, but where was the scripture then? Were you not play, praying? When I, Cause I know you've seen her coming towards you. So did you not say a prayer? When she was running towards you at full force, did you not believe in saying, God, please, I ask of you and I ask that you guide and protect me in this in the right direction. Make sure that this girl does not send my guardian angels to, you know what I mean? Like there's certain prayers that you're supposed to say. Please put the ice back on your lip before it gets bigger. Like what Sky told you, you'll wake up tomorrow with a big ass. Like my girl, like I said, Boviki, I'm a... Where is puss in our boots? This, everything, all the melees. Okay, I am Miss T or whatever the hell your name is. First off, your voice is fucking annoying. Like, it's really annoying. Like, nah, like you sound really annoying. Like, shut up, shut up. Like, that voice is irking me. Do you understand? You should be silent. You're the type of bitch that should be silent during these type of things like these type of tapings you should be talking off a of camera not on camera then you want to get at sky for what what are you getting at sky for like yes you're talking about whoa vicky and you know you feel like she's doing things for clout whatever you feel like whatever like they're telling you okay it's not that serious you're jumping the handle do you want your 15 minutes are you mad that whoa vicky got her got her 15 minutes or do you need your 15 minutes right now because clearly you do and as you can see, Puss in the Boots is not even trying to calm you down because as she can see that you need your 15 and you're begging for it. Because the rest of the bitches that are in the car with you, that are in the Sprinter with you, Mariah Lynn, um, Puss in the Boots, and fucking Beam Me Up Scotty, they already had PT, sweetheart. So they don't need no more PT. You're the only person that needs that. So you need to calm down, bring it down a notch. And you should have had that energy when you're outside. Why didn't you give Wo Vicky that energy? Um, Jesus, take the wheel. Why didn't you give her that energy? Um, see, this is what's wrong with you, bitches. You guys wait until after the fact. Like, if I'm doing something that's fucked up, I need you to tell me in the moment. Don't tell people behind my back because that's when situations are going to occur. Like, at the end of the day, if you want to pop off your mouth, pop off your mouth while I'm there. Let me know that I'm doing something fucked up in the moment. Don't let it fester. And then go behind my back and have conversations with people. Like... And then you're going to talk about you're a real ass bitch. No, you're a fake ass bitch. I'm sorry. Like, get with the program. Mm. Like, you're getting on my fucking nerves and so is your fucking voice. It been from the jump. I don't know why Natalie put you and that horrific voice on the, on the fucking show, but it needs to be deleted. Okay, and then here's another thing, okay? When you're upset, right, and you're getting at somebody... And the person that you're getting upset at has no idea why you're upset and why you're raising your voice and why you're talking to them the way that you're talking to them. You're the only person that looks stupid. Because if you're not going to explain yourself to the person that you're mad at, there's no point of you being mad. Like, keep that mad shit to yourself. You're here talking about, okay, you're mad at be me up, Scotty, because you believe that, okay, the reason why you're upset is because you were you were raised in a religious home and Christianity or, or Catholic, whatever the case may be. And you take that shit very seriously and you feel like, well, Vicky is... is um, is basically making a mockery or whatever the fuck you want to say 
So why, like I said, why are you directing that energy to beat me up, Scotty? She doesn't know that you have religious beliefs and all this type of stuff. You should be taking that up with the person who's sitting there talking about trying to read scriptures off of her fucking phone. That's the person you're supposed to be having this conversation with and having that energy towards. Why are you directing that energy towards beat me up, Scotty? That's not holy. That's not godly. And I don't know what church you attended, but that is not no no absolutely not like god told you to do that your spirit told you to get at beat me up scotty because she had nothing to do with whatever the hell you're like make it make sense sis. like like i said you're annoying your voice is annoying and you need to just shut up for the rest of the fucking night like i don't even know why Mar mariah lynn's even trying to calm you down leave her alone mariah please please she's not gonna hit nobody she's not gonna fight nobody she's like a weird asshole like i don't get it like Natalie, where did you find these trifling bitches from? I need to help you with your casting next next season. For real. Natalie, I think you need to preview these girls' songs before you bring them to the club to go and... Like, not all the songs are good. I'm sorry, not all these girls can rap. Like, like I don't understand it. I don't get it. Like, you guys are good at shaking your ass, and I think that's what you need to stick to. Play music, talk shit pour drinks down girls fucking throats that's what you guys are good at half of you girls are on here you guys do a one like you see one baddie do um do a rap song that all of a sudden everybody's a fucking rapper bitch no no and natalie your job is to tell bitches no like no that ain't it like sky like i don't I'll be back, guys. I'm really stressed out. Saya, you fire. Saya, fire. Mariah, fire. Those girls need to perform. Rock, you, uh, it's a vibe. I'm getting tired of it. Like, that song, too, is just getting old. Like, get a new hit. Get a new song. Please, next season, I hope and pray you do not come with, it's a vibe all the time. It better be, I got pregnant by blue face. Now I have a baby. Like, you get what I mean? Like, oh my God, please, God. I'm begging and I'm hoping that she comes with a new song. I'm going to with the vibe. The vibe all the time. It's not a vibe. Um... Roly has has some good stunner girl where is stunner girl like she can perform like she's a dope ass rapper too like like i said there's a couple broads on here that that can spit so to you guys kudos to you and the rest of you bum bitches need to sit down and and pick a new hobby because oh tko she can rap too she can rap she fire too the rest of you broads gotta go sorry first off natalie i don't know if you puss in the boots i don't know if you thought by bringing biggie's big fat ass back that that was gonna make a difference the crowd didn't even do nothing when she walked out like and the introduction that you guys gave her was whack so biggie you should be like ashamed of yourself to even like why are you even back like i don't understand it you came in a little two-piece the two-piece was not two-piece in it was not looking righteous your flub your, your your flab and everything was hanging over the side your shoes looked like it was two sizes too fucking small for your feet bitch it was your outfit was not outfitting okay you look like a whole cow like a whole cow that should have been milked like it wasn't giving sis and then on top of that you guys had anna what, what are you doing if it's a if you're in a club right and the whole environment like the vibe is up and all that type of shit why are you gonna bring the vibe down with your r&b song that's what you guys are gonna close out with that's why i said you guys need to speak about who's gonna perform before you guys get to these locations people can't just be jumping up today and saying i want to be a singer or a rapper today and then want to shake ass tomorrow it's either or bitch you understand what i mean people know their place and know their space do you guys see sky um sky jumping up and saying that she wants to do anything you see what sky is doing you you guys see what sky is doing right she's shaking her ass because she knows that's what i came here to do host and shake ass roly's here now having a big big conversation with wait first off before i jump to the roly situation didn't i tell you guys i told you guys i should be a psychic didn't i tell you guys that whoa vicky this would be the last episode for whoa, whoa vicky 
Jesus take the wheel. Jesus definitely took the wheel and took her ass right out the baddies club, right out of the baddies east because she sent a text message to to Natalie and informed Natalie that hey, at the end of the day, this is not for me. Jesus, I prayed to the higher above and he not only that, but then they have a conversation with I am T whatever the hell your name is, Mrs. Annoying Voice, her. Um <sighs> I'm going to start calling her the nanny because she gives me the voice of a friend. You guys know who Fran is, right? From the nanny, her. Hello, Mr. Sheffield. Oh my God, Mr. Sheffield. That's what she sounds like. She, Natalie's asking her basically, you know, how does she feel? You damn well know what Natalie's talking about. Cause you were just talking about, you were just talking shit in the fucking sprinter. Talking about, whoa, Vicky needs to go home because at the end of the day, this is not the place for her. Everybody knew this wasn't the place for her. You understand? But she's seen the light. She's seen it. And, you know, she wrapped it up. So I need you to wrap up your lip and shut up. And Roly's absolutely right when Roly said, yo, not everybody should be performing. And that's the way that it is. Roly, I seen that your ass was hurting. Clearly, it's not hurting that much. And why do you continue to walk around with that ass pillow if you're not going to sit on the fucking pillow? You bring the pillow to couch. Because the other time you brought the pillow and then you sat on the edge of the fucking couch your body is not ready yet your body is not ready you're still in recovery my girl you're still in recovery hence the fact you couldn't go out because you weren't feeling well so please if you're gonna use the the, the body device please use it properly okay but anyways guys let me go back because i need to wrap this up because i'm feeling itchy but i'm gonna wrap this up so first off, Smiley, you are rude, alta ada, fiesta, bright, and I don't understand what is going on. You decided to make jambalaya. That's that's amazing. I don't understand why did you make the girls and eat it before they left. You put the food in a fucking black um, garbage bag, first off. That was the first no-no. The second no-no was you had these bitches eating out of fucking cups with no forks, no spoons, no nothing. You're there digging into it. I'm not eating that. This is the reason why a bitch like me don't eat from people. I don't yum from people. This is why. Because that is nasty. I am not eating out of no fucking trash bag. The girls, them, you literally said, girls, I'm literally feeding you guys jail. Like, like jail food. Why would I want to feel like that? That I'm in that environment. Why? You guys are bumble clap bud gals. Why are you eating out of a garbage bag? Why are we eating out of cups with no spoons or make it make sense, please? Dirty blood clot. Now we have the gal that reached to the house. We're at the house now here to to pick up the other set, the puss in our boots and her crew, or whatever the case may be. Then they bring the DJ, DJ Sky, over, and apparently she has a problem with um anna i feel like a fight is gonna ensue i will be back guys because they're about to stress me out i'm over them so natalie you really think puss in a boots you really think that this is a great idea for for you to say okay half of you guys or some of you guys are gonna ride in the the baddies um party bus and trying to make it like it's hype and then she's gonna turn around and say and then there's gonna be a couple of y'all that are gonna go on the pj with me my girl this is the reason why you get into the the the, the body holes that you get into because at the end of the day when people say that you, you have favoritisms and all this type of shit now the girls are gonna feel some type of way even the bitches that you're probably close to you're probably not even gonna pick to go on the pj with you you understand what i mean because you're always trying to stir the pot so once again i would not be i would not be surprised or alarmed if somebody decided that they wanted to kick off post and the boots this face but as you guys can see she's with the shits all the time but she's always trying to throw rocks and hide her motherfucking hands bitch so let's see what's gonna happen so anna so beam me up scotty was attempting to have a conversation with anna because as i told you guys before natalie decided that she, you know she's giving the girls them the same bumble clot speech that she gives them every time these guys are like piggy that you have to have a conversation with before you leave the house like bitches we are about to go somewhere make sure you guys behave your motherfucking self no fighting no biting no cursing at each other none of that act like some real classy ass ratchet ass hoes 
I know you're ratchet, but we need to tone it down and be classy. Like, she literally has to have this conversation with these bitches before she goes to another city all the time. It never fucking fails. So she's telling everyone again, once again, if you want to shoot the fair one, this is the time to shoot the fair one. Blase, blase, this, that, second, and third. So obviously, Beam Me Up Scotty turns to Anna and says, listen, at the end of the day, you said that you're done with the beef, but after we go to a club, we're having a good time or whatever, you still proceed to be talking shit. So it's either we're going to shoot the fair one and we're, you're going to shut up about it, or at the end of the day, you're going to be a scary asshole and, you know, wave the white flag and it is what it is. As they're trying to have their little one-on-one talk, DJ Sky was walking up with her hands in her pocket and she she didn't she didn't waste no time. She was like, yo, all this talking shit, I don't have time for it. So wah, 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 wah. Once again, leave the people that pick me alone. Listen, man. All of this started from internet beef. Ooh, these girls, I don't understand. You guys talk smack on internet. Then when you guys get up close and personal, there should be no conversation. There should be no talking. It's on site. I would have said, Natalie, shut the fuck up and let me and homegirl shoot the fair one. You already know who I have a problem with. Hence the fact you brought me here. Don't try to act brand new, Natalie. AKA Puss in a Boots. I keep telling you guys, she's hella fucking messy. She knew exactly what she was doing by doing it. You understand what I mean? Ooh, I'm trying to bring peace. No, you're not you're not because if you know me and somebody have that much of a problem yeah if you know me and that person have a problem at the end of the day like you said half of y'all is going in the sprinter half of you guys are going on the pj like at the end of the day it is what it is but <sighs> these girls are stressing me out they're stressing me out you guys see why i wore a hair tie because i felt like i was gonna pull all my hair out like i seen little previews of 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 episode four and that's the reason why i put my hair tie on because i knew i was about to do a lot of this i'll be right back guys hope and pray that right now it's about to show next for for next week let's hope and pray that next week does not stress me out the way that this is stressing me out i'll be back and so next week is gonna be full of shit um dj sky and anna like i can't watch girls that cannot fight like the kicking and doing all of that like it's that alone was was making me really really tired of you guys doing all of that kicking and you guys are not connecting it's not making sense to me like i would just stop fighting at that point like there's no point anyways next week apparently natalie's about to bring some new bitches into the house because like i told you guys some of you know well vicky's gone or whatever so she's trying to bring some new baddies in this bitch and I don't understand why you still have Rock's minions on the show. Like, what is the purpose? Are you giving them a bag? Like, how much is their bag just to get beat up? How much did you pay these bitches to get beat up? Like, I, I really need to know. Because there's a couple of bitches that I know need to get beat the fuck up. So, I can can I refer them to the baddies? Because if you're paying bitches just to get beat up, there's a there's a line of people. A line of people that I can that I can definitely send your way now aka puss in a boots but anyways guys they stress me out the four girls that are on the pj obviously is rock sorry not rock is um roly then there's beam me up scotty and then she put mariah lynn on the private jet not even sky you put on the private jet you made sky go in the sprinter that looked like it was about to catch a fire i don't know if a girl was smoking a blunt and she fell asleep i don't know but the alarms went off it was like a whole shit show bitch so we will see who gets bun up and i will let you know i think beam me up scotty and and mrs nanny oh my god is about to fight i don't know i don't even want to see that fight i don't i don't know what the fuck is going on guys but i'm stressed out this one this week was uh i would give it besides the fight at the beginning it was a yeah natalie so you got a 6.5 it wasn't if it wasn't for the fight it would have been boring as shit it wasn't really giving what it was supposed to give and the whoa vicky situation so that's why you got a 6.5 other than that you would have got something lower than that but I'll see you guys next week. Well, no. I'll see you guys soon. I'm about to go eat some food with my fat ass. Go get some work done and get my ass ready for work tomorrow. Peace, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I try to do it as fast as I can. But when it comes to these things, you cannot. like. There's a lot of things that I don't want to miss, especially for the people who don't have Zeus. So I'm trying to make it worth your while. Anyways, guys.
peace, love, and hair grease. And once again, happy birthday to my cousin Tej. May your soul continue to rest in peace. And I know if you were here, you would have been interrupting my videos, but I feel like you're with me every single day. So ain't no thing but a chicken wing. That's why I wore your shirt today in memory of you, okay?